always wanted to make images, make statements. I mean, I was in the right place at the right time, you know. I grew up in the segregated South, so there was never any history of my culture in school, you know. So I was always wondering the roots of it, where, where it started, how it got to be where it is now. So that's why I went to Africa in 1974. Yeah, Cuba, the government took us all around for like a month. Havana all the way to Santiago took a lot of pictures. I had two Leica cameras, and uh, one would be loaded with negative color, and the other would be loaded with negative black and white. I never had the money to print them, but I, I shot them. So I was always taking pictures of jazz musicians. I would go to clubs at night. I got to know guys, you know, we were all friends. So the club scene was very vibrant then. A lot of good musicians were hitting town. So uh, Winton, I met uh, in New Orleans. I used to go to New Orleans a great deal. And I met he and his father and his brother in 1976 when Winton was like 14 and Branford was 16. When he got to New York, I told him, yeah, he, we met a long time ago. And could I come out on the road with him for a weekend to uh, document his septet? Took me out on the road for a weekend and that turned into two and a half years working on a book. <laughs> and then that morphed into 30 years with Jazz and Lincoln Center. We were the most traveled orchestra in the world at that time. One year we circumnavigated the world twice in one calendar year, <laughs> you know? That's how much work we were doing. Oh, it was, yeah, it was brutal. Well, you had a lot of fun and I was hearing great music every night, you know? And I was taking pictures. My work started out to be culturally motivated, you know, finding the roots of the culture and how it moved around and how it became the culture that it is today. And that's basically what this show is about, African-American culture. The best of the culture, not the worst of the culture. And uh, I hope it comes through in the photographs. It's, uh, you know, music and how music is incorporated with daily life in African-American society. And you know, America is segregated anyway. You know, white folks may not know what, what's happening in their black neighborhood just because of the way it's set up, you know? So I wanted to show the world kind of what, what it looks like to be black in, in America.